Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse News update. We're going to be talking about a few figures today, ones that were revealed at WonderCon, ones that were recently revealed via social media, and just the overall... Are we burnt out on DC Multiverse offerings in the sense of we're not really getting the full potential that we could potentially be getting. There is a lot of space in those boxes. There has been a lot of reuse, a lot of unnecessary reuse, if you ask me, and a couple sort of new figures overall, which does leave a lot to be desired. Now, I know that my videos have been kind of sparse lately with DC Multiverse offerings. Rest assured, I have been looking for the Plastic Man Wave. I pre-ordered mine off Amazon, so it's set to come around May 1st, give or take, so hopefully... Yeah, we'll get DC Multiverse up and running again, and we have some things to talk about. But in the meantime, if you're interested in anything we talk about in this video, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. As always, thank you so much for always using my links. It helps the channel to grow. But do keep in mind, some of these have been going kind of quick. But if you don't see them now, they will eventually go back up when they start to ship. That's kind of how it goes. First and foremost, we have this new Joker and Punchline 2-pack. And if I'm being honest, while I have yeah, kind of sort of wanted a figure for Punchline, if you were to ask me what new character from DC Comics would you want an action figure of, sure, Punchline would have been on that list, but definitely not on the top of the list of most wanted overall characters. There is a recent trend of trying to make the Joker sexy for some reason. Punchline is now the second Harley, the side Harley. And while I couldn't tell you too much about her from what I know, she's just kind of more of a character that is for her looks and maybe because she's so crazy, that's what she does. Other than that, I don't see her as anything more than a, a character that just is kind of cosplaying at this point, right? Don't get me wrong, the face sculpt looks good. Everything looks really nice on this figure overall, but the face and what I think about with the character of Punchline is not really represented in the face sculpt. If there would have been another one where she is more of a maniacal, crazy, you know what, right? That's where I kind of see Punchline it's not represented here at all. It's more like, hi, <laughs> that's really it. But like I said, it does make up for it in terms of how she looks with the paints, everything that is kind of fusing together to make a cool looking punchline figure. Except for the fact that as far as I'm being told, the little ball in her hand, whatever that may be, is not removable. And as you can clearly see, there's no other hands in the box. So hopefully it is removable. It may have to do with choking hazards for children and whatnot, even though these are not actually going to stores. They're more of a fan channel exclusive. The Joker, like I said, what is the dealio with trying to make the Joker sexy? He is a psychopathic murdering serial killer. I, I don't get it. If they're trying to market him like that, yikes. But the head portrait, it's good, and it's like, is his face all scrunched? It's like, it's a, yeah, and then huh, kind of go back and forth. And overall, I kind of settled on, no, I think this is another miss for the Joker. It might be good for the more modern-ish type take for the Joker, but that just really doesn't sit very well with me. He looks more like an anime Joker, if anything. Punchline again. I think that, you know, it remains to be seen once you have these figures in hand. But overall, fine. Punchline, probably the star of this box set. There's not much in this box set. You get two knives, two stands, and two trading cards. And that's it for a two-pack that costs you $40. And I know a lot of people, and we've talked about it here to ad nauseum, but for $40, there's really nothing in the box. And with her having that hand with the ball in it and then, and then no other extra hands. It's just another head scratcher to me. So, no, this is not one that I'm really looking forward to. To me, again, it's two steps forward, five steps back, that kind of thing, because it's just not there in terms of the value that you're getting for a two pack. Now, we did get some nice, pretty pictures of the next wave of the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line that was revealed at WonderCon, Booster Gold being one of them. This again, I feel like this video is gonna be a lot of me going like, eh, 
it. And then a lot of people are going to say, you can't be happy. Why aren't you happy? Well, I'm not happy, to be honest with you. It's just something that I'm going to largely go, yeah, it's a pass. Don't get me wrong. This is not the outfits, the costume for me for Booster Gold. I already have my Booster Gold. This is like, what, the new 52 style. It's not bad looking. It's pretty much the exact Booster Gold that I have, but just in a new getup. Comes with a flight stand, and that's it. There's no extra hands, there's no accessories, there's no skeets. And yes, I know it's based on 52, and it could have the Mr. Mind and all that kind of stuff, but there's nothing in the box. So that's, again, what makes me go like, it's, yeah, it's just the same headboard. It's the same thing again, but with a different costume. And that's where I look at the box, and it goes, yeah, that is some empty packaging right there. That's just kind of like a whole lot of nothing. But like I said, if, and I've seen the comments, a lot of people are actually stoked on this Booster Gold. So I'm not ragging on it in that sense, but I'm more so talking about why isn't there anything else in this packaging? Moving on, we have the, uh, uh, like another one of Mr. Freeze, which marks, what, the fourth time? We had the Mr. Zero as well, fourth, fifth time. Mr. Freeze and his Batman the Animated Series colors. This, to me, is more of a platinum edition, if anything. Now, that's really good because I myself pre-ordered this. I go, okay, as much as I have a Mr. Freeze, yeah, I'm a sucker for Batman the Animated Series. So I did grab this one. Am I overly ecstatic for it? No, because it's not a new figure. And I've looked at every single Mr. Freeze thus far. I know how this Mr. Freeze is going to go. It's not even worth doing a video. You would go, hey, there's Mr. Freeze, and it has his colors, and there you go. Oh, that's exciting. I can't wait for you all to watch me do that for eight minutes. But he has the freeze gun. The freeze gun is not different. It still has the ice thing in it. It's just Mr. Freeze, the one we've gotten over and over and over in Batman the Animated Series Colors, which again, I will say this, this, either as a platinum or as a figure you release a couple years down the line when people go, man, I sure wish I had a Mr. Freeze figure because that's the fourth or fifth Mr. Freeze in the last year, year and a half, just FYI. So again, if you really want him, you can pre-order him now. Then we have, I guess you would say this is my favorite figure of the bunch. One, because I can't really tell you too much about Ambush Bug, but also for the fact of it's just kind of an interesting deep cut character. And I like that. I like when McFarlane Toys actually does that. We have Booster Gold. We got Mr. Freeze. We've already had these. We have the Joker punchline. Sure. That again, good figure. But at the same time with the accessories presented, Ambush Bug, at least he's got some deep cut accessories to him. I like the face sculpt. It's going to be the same body. He's very diaperish. And that's really all I got to say. It just kind of looks clunky. It kind of looks, yeah, well, I guess this is going to do, right, for an Ambush Bug figure. But on the other side, it's cool. You're getting an Ambush Bug figure. So, yay. And I don't think otherwise we would have gotten this character. So for that alone, yes, I am happy with this release and his little cheeks figure. <laughs> this is, again, it makes me laugh because now I get to do a little research. I get to have a little fun looking at the character of Ambush Bug for when I get this character and I talk about it. And that makes me go, oh, now I know who Ambush Bug is and I can spread the word to all those that have no idea. Comes with an extra fist. I guess that's <laughs> good. Could have had two extra fists, but don't go that much. We don't want too many fists. <laughs> Jeez. That's the kind of thing that makes me laugh. So again, if you want any of these, I'll have the pre-order links down in the description below. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at some of the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse offerings. Again, this is a large group of figures where I'm kind of indifferent about it. It's more of the same, more of the same of... <sighs> Man, I really wish this was better. I wish at this point in the DC Multiverse stage, we were getting some better things. The sculpts, we'll leave it at that. They're fine for what they are, but they could always improve in the accessories and head portraits and things that really bring these characters to life. I'm not seeing that. It's almost as if we're going backwards in some sense. And that really does resonate with that Joker and Punchline 2-pack because... That could have been, man, oh man, that's cool. But we're left with, yeah, I guess that's okay. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. 
And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, perhaps, on the next go around of DC Multiverse figures, I can then go, yes, this is gonna be great, this is awesome, because it's always infinitely more preferable to make a fun video as opposed to, uh, it's humdrum. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon, adios.